<laughs> All right, so I am already rolling. So whenever you want, we can start. Okay. All right. I'll, you want me to count you in? Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Was here. That's you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, women, dogs, cats, rabbits, broken foot, handicapped, whoever you are. I love you guys. We love everybody. Remember that all the time. We love everybody. <laughs> Everyone. There was some controversy <laughs> last episode, but I love you all. Remember that. Oh no matter God. what race, whatever, whatever sexuality you are, I love all the people. Remember that. You want to know what's crazy? When you mentioned broke, uh, broken foot, I actually fucked up my ankle like crazy. Like it's let done. me guess, let I me guess. You thought you were like Larry Bird again. A light man came up, like, oh, I pull up, and you missed it. No, nah, I was driving to the rim, and then my foot got stuck and just went like that. So you're in, you're in a rust kicked in. My, uh, yeah, yeah, my <laughs> rust. I came in, I thought it was Russell Westbrook, and I fucked I, up my ankle. No, that did not work. Hmm? That did not work. I think it? I'm out for a couple weeks still. I won't even lie. My ankle's like swollen up and everything. Oh, damn. But I want to welcome you guys all today to a new, let's say, we're giving this a try. Yeah, yeah. It's Off the Top Studios NBA Edition. Yeah, yeah. So right now, uh, us two are some of the biggest NBA fans you can find out there. So, you know, we decided to make a show uh, previewing the NBA playoffs. And we, uh, if this is successful, if this is something you like, like, comment, subscribe. We will try next season. We'll do a fucking... We can do a monthly one or a weekly one. Like, you know, whatever. But like, It's up to the people. Like, ooh. if you guys tell us, we want you guys want it every week. Yeah. Yo. I got you. We love talking about sports at the end of the day. So if this is something you guys like, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, DM us, share it with your friends, do whatever. Let us know, and we will keep making more of these. All right. All right. 2018-2019 season just wrapped up. It was all right. It was all right? Uh, I feel like there wasn't as many storylines in this one. I feel like the storyline. There wasn't enough game winners. Uh, I mean... Towards the end of the season, yeah, I feel like it just wasn't as tight. Or, like, the the Western Conference was like the playoff seedings were all like not the seedings, but like the playoff, like who was in the, making the playoffs was like wrapped up like a month ago. Mm -hmm. And like the West and the East was like the, the East was more competitive, obviously, but it wasn't really that great because it was like yeah. it just came down to the last spot, right? And there's D, but it's good, it came to the last day, yeah, it came to the last day, but for that last spot, but like, like generally in the West, it's like. The 11th seed had the chance to make the playoffs to the last day. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's that that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, the West is just not as great this year. And, just, like, Golden State wasn't as great yeah. this year. Like, you know? It was just wasn't as great of a season that it generally usually was. Last season was crazy. In the West? Yeah. That's when there was, like, there was like a three-way tie with, like, Minnesota, OKC. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, the la it was going uh, down to the last day. It was crazy. This one, this year was more of, like, they're fighting for playoff season. The only well. thing about the season I can tell you that I remember yeah. is the, the one last dance thing for Dwayne Wade. Yeah, this this season to sum it up is the one last dash yeah. for Dirk and D Wade. It's legit. The whole last week of the NBA, so this week I'd say, yeah. was dedicated to them yeah. all day, and then 100%. the All Star weekend yeah, dedicated yeah. to them. Hundred percent. Yeah, this season was pretty much like a a send off for the '90s players. Uh, Carter, I think, is going to be the last one. He said he's going to come back. I don't think they're going to do one last dance for him. No, nah, he had, he's been around with too many teams. I mean, maybe they might give him one last. I don't know, man. But Dirk and D Wade, I think that was like the culmination of that generation because those are the last two greats. Vince Carter's a great, but like he's not like a legend. That's what? He's he's on that D Wade. Uh, okay, Dirk. when you th when okay, yes, yes, okay. He's in that stratosphere. I, when you think about D Wade and you think about Dirk, you think about greatness. Yes or no? Great, yeah, greatness, greatness. At, the, at the highest at the level highest competition. level. But so they're great at something. Yeah, no, they're great yes. at basketball. So when you think about Vince Carter, what is he great at? No, but here's the thing. I asked you a question. <laughs> that did not the question. I think of okay, <laughs> he's great at dunking. I, at dunking. Yeah, he's great. So he's, no, he's great. Why? I won't. I won't. But like, okay, le, le, my point is that D Wade and Dirk, they carried their their respective franchises yeah. for like their entire long Like they've been with one, pretty much one team, okay. except for D Wade for that one year. But you can't you can't blame Vince Carter. No, no, I'm not blaming Vince Carter. But then they've been with that one team. They've mm -hmm. taken them to championships. They've won championships. Uh, Dirk probably has like arguably like the greatest championship of all time against the Miami Heat. Uh, D Wade's performance was crazy. Vince Carter hasn't gone to the finals. He hasn't gone to the. I think he's gone to the Eastern Conference. So what? we've been to the Eastern Conference finals. Yeah. But he had his graduation. Yeah. Oh. And then he came, and then they missed the game winner. Wasn't so that Eastern semis though? 
That and then, was conference finals. That was conference finals? I against no against um seventy sixers. Oh, okay. I think so. Oh, uh, but yeah, so like he has he doesn't have like the playoff moments. He doesn't have like But you you're know, but you, this is the part that you're forgetting though. He took a city that was quiet. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was only known yeah, yeah. for hockey. Yeah, yeah. And then what did he do? He put basketball on the map on us. Can I tell you the truth? Yeah. I didn't know what basketball exactly was yeah, yeah. until I seen his card. You know? Yeah. The as as a Toronto thing. person, he's a legend to us. Mm -hmm. As someone from Toronto, he's a, I'm talking about in the Not just whole that. landscape of the NBA. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put him in that. Okay, when we're talking Hall of Fame, Dirk and and D Wade are first ballot. D Wade is. So how did T, how, how did T Mac get a first ballot? T Mac is greater than than Vince Carter. Like, how? how how he's had more dominant seasons. In what way? Bro, a T Mac at one point was considered to be better than Kobe. Yeah, because T Mac had like a better team. He was just Don't get me wrong, I love T Mac, but yeah. T Mac has always had a better has always had a better team than okay, Vince Carter. Here, no, but here's my point though. Here's my point. Okay. Dirk top fives power forward all time? Yeah, hell yes. Hell, hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. For me, personally, I think he's the best. You think he's the best? I think like I my personal best is is Kevin Garnett. Really? Yeah. Not, yeah. not Timmy D. Timmy D is either second or third for me. Wow. Yeah. So who's second? Second is either it might it might be Tim Duncan, it, it might be Dirk, it might be Charles Barkley, it might be Malone. Like it was one of those. I things. got I got Charles in third. Ch yeah, Charles. Like bro, all three, all four of those guys. Everyone's, are, everyone's gonna everyone's gonna hate me for this bro, one, but Joe. Kevin Garnett's my fourth. Oh yeah. Everyone's gonna hate me. KG's for this my one. number one because yeah. he just on both sides he was better than everyone. But uh, Dirk, uh, thing, D Wade was is the third best shooting guard of all time. Yes or no? Top five, yes. Where where are you putting Carter and shooting guards? Top twenty. There you go. That's that's what I mean by greatness. I mean I don't mean he's great. He's I mean legendary. But it's like but it's legendary. like Vince Carter didn't get the opportunity that D Wade got. He's, D -Wade like, got, he's played twenty one years now. Yeah, but he's got D plenty of opportunity, man. Not really. Not not the opportunity that D Wade got. Okay, yeah. D Wade yeah, got to go to Hall of Fame coaches, aka Pat Riley. Yeah. yeah Hall yeah. of Fame players, aka Shaquille O'Neal. Which Shaquille O'Neal? He got the Shaquille O'Neal who just left. Kobe, yeah, yeah. After I think they would win the one, the one or lost that season, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said, "I want one of the championships somewhere else." Yeah, yeah. So he went to Miami. Yeah. And I even see the interview. D Wade goes, "The reason I am who I am today yeah. is because when Shaq came in, yeah. Shaq said championship, championship, championship. Yeah, yeah. And what they do? Hundred percent championship. But we're also forgetting that uh, Vince Carter played with uh thing who uh who? Jason Kidd in his prime, and he played with Je uh, Richard Jefferson, and he had Kenyon Martin on that team. And they didn't make it to the, they made it to the finals and they lost. They made the finals once and they lost and then they. That was not Vince Carter's team. Oh no no, he came back. They couldn't get to the finals. They lost to the Pistons. Oh, a really good Pistons team who yeah. won that year. But if if we're okay, if we're taking the, the same Pistons, if we're taking team. the top top five from each mm -hmm. of those teams, yeah, one and two are going to be on the Nets. Jason Kidd is better than everyone on the Pistons. Better than Billups. Yes, Jason Kidd is better than Billups. Big shot, big time Billups. Yes, at that Jason, moment, at that moment, Jason Kidd is better than okay. than Billups. Okay, Vince Carter was better than Rip Hamilton. Let's let's be honest right now. Off the pick, Richard, Jeff mask, Richard Jefferson, bucket, Richard Jefferson, and Tayshawn Prince is a wash. Oh my God! Okay, it was a wash. Okay, all Not, right. So that had, so how they beat them? Don't say they were hot. Don't say how how they beat the Nets then. They had a bad series. They didn't so play well. It wasn't a bad series. They played quite well. They 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 lost. At the end of the day, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace. There was so too you much. can't say Vince Carter was yeah, better than I'm saying, like that's not a scrub team. A lot of people would have died for a team like that. For what team? For a team with Jason Kidd, one of the top a top five best okay. point guard all time. Vince Carter, Vince Richardson. Carter, Richard Jefferson, Kenyon Martin. There's no Kenyon Martin. They had Kenyon Martin. Oh, they, they did. They did have Kenyon Martin, bro. They did. Yeah, man. Wow. That team was stacked, man. I'm telling you, they were a stacked team. They just couldn't get it done. And the Nets just right after that. And realistically, he could have stayed in Toronto with T Mac. If they both stayed, they could have done something here. So well, they, T Mac left and you know just became a water water boy. Water yeah, boy, yeah, water. yeah. Like that's that's another story. Us Toronto fans, us Tor people from Toronto. I don't, I still, want, I still don't hear, like talking about I still it. hear about it sometimes. Oh my god. It's mad sad. Cause like you think about like your player leaving and everyone's like, he's okay, he's okay. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> The thing is it happened with two people, man. Tracy and Vin. if they both stayed, it would have been crazy. Alright, so let's get into our show. 
So before we go talk about the playoffs and all that stuff, let's talk about the regular season because that comes first, right? Mm-hmm. So at the end of every season, there are awards that each that are given out. Media, I don't think players vote. I think it's just media. Uh, the media yeah, votes. I was reading it today. Funny thing about media. Somebody from the Toronto Star gets to vote. Yeah, yeah I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But whatever. Um. So yeah, the media gets to vote. They make their picks. There's a bunch of different categories, so we just we took it to our liberty to to vote for our own, have our own picks, mm-hmm. and I'll put them against each other and see how it is. Okay. All right. At any point, if you do disagree, comment the time, comment why, talk shit to us. Yeah, yeah. comment, tell us, tell us, tell me I'm wrong. I don't care. I'll debate you. You huh. can debate him. Exactly. We'll debate each other. Simple. It doesn't matter. We have time. Simple. We're, Simple. We have time. We're losers. If you see me on roads. You know, yeah. come talk shit if, to if me. If I'm if I'm at like UTSC or something, pull me up and be like, "Yo, you're a big blood clot fool for picking <laughs> up Pascal Siakam." Good shit, good blood clot fool. Oh god. No, all right, all right. So yeah, so yeah. By all means, put us in our place. All right. First, first award, mm-hmm. coach of the year. Who do you have? Mikey B. Mike Budenholzer. I have Mikey to, B. Um, honorable mentions to Doc Rivers. Why Doc Rivers? Because um, the Clippers team is pretty not that great, and they're in the playoffs yeah, right they, now. They they took they took players like um they traded Tobias Harris and still kept a playoff spot. Yeah, because they took players that were like on the bench or yeah. were doing mediocre stats, like um Ivan Zubak was on the bench. Yeah, Ivan Zubak came back first game had a double double at thirty five. Yeah, but that team is not as talented as like let's say the Kings. Like or even Pelicans, the Pelicans are a better team, talented wise, than the Clippers. Yes, the Pelicans don't have anybody. They only have AD. They have AD. They have uh, they have what's it called? Uh, big man. Uh, Okafor. My they have God. Randall. Uh-huh. They have uh, Drew Holiday. Mm. They have uh, what's uh, Galloway? Langston Galloway. Yeah, yeah. They, do. they have uh, Solomon. All right, I'm I'm gonna leave that out. But like I'm saying, that mm-hmm. a top more top heavy talented team. I more would top say, heavy than Gallinari. Lou Williams. No, those okay. If we're comparing Landry, sh- if we're comparing all the rosters, the top two guys on all those teams is Drew Holiday and AD. Okay. So I'm saying like on the top, they're more talented. Maybe not as depth wise like the Clippers are, but uh, they're st- definitely a talented team. They're definitely like I would, bro. AD is a a superstar. Why they, they don't have why anyone close the to that. Why didn't they play us? Because they suck. And <laughs> that whole Lakers thing uh-huh. ruined their... Oh, really? Whoa. That whole, that whole oh, thing. Oh. AD quit on the season. Let's be oh, real. Oh, really? Oh. Let's be real. Like, oh. the only reason why... Like, he's, he still did have a good season, but he quit. He was as, as, as my friend Westbrook says. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, my, uh, my runner-up was Doc Rivers. Honor, honorable mention to Nate McMillan. Mc, Nate McMillan. After a, who, I, who's coach that again? Uh, D, uh, what's it called? Pacers. <laughs> Great coach. Great coach. Uh, Great Pacers coach. were a top four team in the East until Depot went down, and they're still fourth. Mm-hmm. Or no, they're fifth now. Well, they dropped to five. Boston's fourth. Five, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like when you lose your best player, just dropping one playoff spot. That's I you have to give him all the props in the world. See, um, everyone's forgetting what's his name too. Um, Nick Nurse. Yeah, Nick Nurse. Is, yeah. Like it's, uh, a fir- it's a first year. It's a very talented team. Last year, I think you got go to go to the conference finals last year. No, we didn't. no, no, conference, conference semis. They conference got semis. We got swept. Yeah. And it's like we got rid of we got rid of a coach. Yeah. We got rid of the the home the home hero guy Demar Derozan. Demar Derozan. Yeah, and this yeah. guy had to like take somebody who was like half broken. Yeah. Like that's as they said on the Spurs, he was half broken. Yeah. And then like let's make it to do as good as they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely in there too. But I, th- I think at the end of the day, we can both agree that Budenholzer is the number one. But no, no questions asked. Yeah, Budenholzer's on the second now, eh? Bro, and that team, that team's a talented team. But let's be honest, like you would, in the beginning of the season, we did not think they'd be number one seed in the East in the NBA. With this, watching, but looking at how much depth they have, yeah, like coming off the bench, yeah, is numbers that can't be explained. There's players that I didn't know that actually played yeah. that are playing, yeah, like um, uh, Ilya Sova is like giving quality minutes, quality minutes. Snell, oh, he starts sometimes, yeah, like like that team is not the most talented team. They're not more as talented as the Raptors, in my opinion. They're not talented. Do they still team. have George Hill on their team too, or no? Yeah, they do. And they have George they have, Hill. See, that team is like low. Is and he, he doesn't even, And they're, they're still in first without Michael Brogdon. 
Yeah, yeah. I got someone to forget. Yeah. Michael Bogdan's out. Yeah, that team is my surprise team of the year. Like that, they definitely ex- like exceeded expectations, and that's powered by Coach Budenholzer. So. I don't know. My, I don't. Know. I think I'd give Spurs as a surprise team. Spurs. They had were a terrible. They had a seventh. They had a terrible t- beginning of the season. Yeah, they were bum cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember I was like, I was like, I got like I love DeRozan, so I'm like, I gotta watch DeRozan as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. So day and night, I'd be watching DeRozan, DeRozan. DeRozan. They're very inconsistent. They've, I think they went like on five different streaks of seven wins, seven losses, seven wins, seven losses. Mm-hmm. Like they were going up and, and they down. finally won like I think it was ten or eleven in a row. Yeah, they were fluctuating hard, but like yeah, my surprise team is either Denver or or uh, Bucks. Why so, Denver? Denver, they're. Jokic is an amazing player. Okay. Triple, right. triple double triple machine. Double machine. He's, like, he's my favorite. He's not my favorite, but he's one of my favorite centers. Uh, but after that, let's go. An aging Millsap. Uh, the thing is, if Michael Porter Jr. was healthy this season, I would expect them to be second or something. But the fact that he didn't even play a game this season, and they didn't even utilize uh, Isaiah Thomas, they had Gary Harris and uh, Jamal Murray take that next step. Not and, e- not even just them. Um, it, uh, what's his name? Morris. Will Barton. Mo- um, Will Barton. Uh, off the bench. Some other guy named uh, I think Malik Morris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. No, three-point shooter. it's um. What is his name? I don't know what his name is. Yeah, Malik. It's I know what you're talking. About. I know what you're talking about. It's Malik. Uh, great, great, Malik great. R- great Robinson. Malik no, Beasley. Huh? Malik Beasley. That's Malik Beasley. Yeah. Great yeah. player. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, they have a lot of young guys stepping up, which I did not expect them to do. Like obviously they're younger. Like I didn't expect uh fucking uh. Uh, Jamal Murray to be a leading scorer on a on a second seed team. Let's be honest. All right. Um, yes. You want to go to the next word? I'm down. Okay. So six man of the year is I had Lou Will. Lou Will. Yeah, Lou Will. No, I who? got Spencer Dim. Oh. If you guys don't know who Spencer, Spencer was my ba- my runner up. If you guys don't know who Spencer Dimwitty is, Spencer Dimwitty is extremely underrated. Yeah, yeah. He is not being noticed for what he does. He comes night in, night out. He does what he's supposed to do. As an NBA player, it's basically a job. He comes out, does yeah. what he does yeah. every single night. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 super consistent. But I think Lou Will, I think he's averaging twenty points a game mm-hmm. more. I I if any other season, I think it would have been Spencer Didwiddle. But the fact that Lou Will is just going so crazy right now, and he's what a higher seed in the uh, eighth seed versus a sixth seed, but in the West, like. Like but you, you, he's you, leading his team off the bench, whereas the the Nets have uh, D'Lo leading them out. That's leading all the, the team. That's, that's on, only person leading the team is D'Lo. Yeah, but Lou Will is leading them from the bench. Let's be, let's be, you know, like no. he's he's their number one scoring threat. So let me ask you a question: If Spencer Dinwiddie did not play for the Nets, we think Nets would still be in the playoffs? There's no way. No, There's but no way. I would say that if. If um, Lou Will wasn't on the Clippers, they'd be uh, top five in the lottery. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think Lou Will, you know, he scores, he scores, but... No, he scores and he, he facilitates him and Montrezl Harrell he come take, off the bench have been... He take uh, risky shots. Yeah, and he makes them. No, 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 Let's no, be no. honest. Lou okay, Will's yo. a bucket getter, fam. <laughs> He's a bucket getter. Uh, Lou Will's like, like, okay, like four out of like... Like, I'll give him more at like seven or like eight. Four to eight. What like those floaters go in? We all know Lou Will does that. Yeah, fifty percent is f- on tough shots is a is a good percentage. Okay, it's real. okay. But then again, I know Den is nice. Den Den Woody is my second. Like my, he's my runner up. Mm-hmm. But I have like Lou Will has just passed I him. Up I think Lou Will's just getting it way too much. Oh, you think that he's like, fatigue? I think he's just doing. I think he's just coming off the bench to be a sixth man of the year. I think he just wants that award. Oh, constantly. you think he's? I think he's such a. Uh, no offense, everyone hates this. I think Lou Will's the biggest jerk in the NBA. Why? <laughs> Just because he's coming off the bench for it? I think he's pers- purposely coming off the bench. Uh, he doesn't need to be. They could have Landry Shamit come off the bench. Yeah, but here's the thing. But why is uh, that you, Lou, Lou we, you, we can also say the same thing for Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie should be coming. No, there's so, many, there's so many players that play. There's Karis LeVert that plays. Yeah, there's yeah. Joe Harris. There's, there's, he's better than Joe Harris. He is. You but, can bring Joe Harris but off would the bench. You, but would you rather have Joe Harris, who can spread the floor, yeah. or Dim Woody that can also do what D'Lo does? Okay, but okay, so the uh, Clippers. All right. Would you rather have? Um, let's see their roster for a second. Let me pull up their roster. It's not gonna show on there. Okay, so you have Patrick Beverly starting at their point guard. Okay. Okay. They're Shea Alexander. Shea Alexander. Canadian. That's your starting backcourt. Canadian. Yeah, my he's he's my dog now. Uh, <laughs> did you know he was Canadian? Yeah, I did know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have 
You have Beverly and you have Shea Gildas Alexander okay. starting. You're gonna bring Lou Will. You obviously bring Lou Will off the bench. Those two are defensively. Oh, no. two. Beverly and Shea uh, Gildas Alexander are like that's probably one of the best defensive backcourts in the league. Relax. You see, Gildas Alexander is an okay defender. No, he's a really bro. He's one of the longest point guards. He has like a six eight wingspan. He's uh, good defender. Very I, good defender. I think he's okay. Okay, but I'm saying you. He's starting. It makes sense to bring Lewis off the bench. It doesn't make like it wouldn't. I'm make, just saying. I think Lou Will is doing it on purpose. He, yeah, that's fine. Lou Will he's, is night and day. At the doing end it of the day, purpose. he's not starting games. He's coming in off the bench, leading the bench mob. Him, Montrez Hell. He's he's bro. That pick and roll, with Montrez Hell on him. He doesn't deserve it. I don't care. He doesn't deserve it. All right, that's up to you. That's fine. you know who should have got it instead. Who? Zabonis. Everyone keeps forgetting. Oh, Demontis Cl- Sabonis. Actually, he was. He's my like. I have like. Demont is so. He he is like completely under the radar. He he yeah. comes out. He does what he has to do yeah. for the Pacers. Mm-hmm. The Pacers, his bench would not be where they are without him. Without Demont, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like 100%. he's. He definitely deserves a lot more uh, he, like, praise. Yeah, his numbers are not just like just a tad bit off. That's why his rebounding is a tad bit off. Yeah, yeah. and his assists are a tad bit off. Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, these two like they have the numbers to back it up as well. Like, mm-hmm. the, uh, if Demontis De- uh, Sabonis takes the next step, then in, in terms of numbers, and getting a little bit more numbers, I could probably give it to him. Next I don't. Know, step. I think if he starts closing onto like closing more into those shots, yeah, yeah. shooting a bit less, yeah, yeah. passing a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Know, I think if he gets a bit bigger, starts yeah. boxing out like his dad. Yeah, yeah. If he plays like his yeah, dad, Sabon- oh, OG Sabonis oh, is crazy. OG Sabonis was the man. Yeah. yeah. All right. So rookie of the year. This has been a discussion. In the past few years, you know, with Ben Simmons, Donovan Mitchell, all that. This Por- year, Por- I don't think it's that Por- much Zingas. of a discussion. Porzingis Jr. That's what I call him. Porzingis, Porzingis Jr. Jr.? Porzingis Jr. All right, so Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, yeah. yeah. This- Runner-up to Trey Young. Uh, honorable mention, Jaron Jackson Jr. Jaron Jackson Jr., But, course. like, I don't even think it's close. I don't know. I think this is one of the least close ones. Oh, I think Jaron Jackson Jr. is worth it. You think Jaron Jackson Jr. is... Oh, you have Jaron Jackson as your winner? I have, I have, him, I have him as my runner-up, like right oh, under Doncic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Luka Doncic just has probably one of the greatest uh-huh. rookie seasons in a long time. Of course. He's Very a, long time. 25-5. and five. I think it was... Was it better than LeBron's rookie? Uh, no, he made the list of the people that made 25-5. and five. In, his, in his rookie season. There's like five. I think it's Magic Johnson, LeBron, a couple other people. It's good. That's a good company, man. But it's like... There, what happened to DeAndre Ian? That's where I'm like... That's where I'm lost. Uh, I I was not high on him coming into the draft anyway, cause he's he's too like he, he's not mobile enough, man. As but a, he's a giant. He's a versatile big man. Yeah, but he's versatile. It's fine. But in today's NBA, you need to be the reason why Jonas Valanciunas on the Toronto Raptors was not. He's a great player. He's doing great numbers. Slow. He's too slow. You can't. You have to have a, a um. A decent amount of agility. That's the same reason why Jahil Okafor can't find a, sp- a starting spot anywhere. He's not mobile enough. You need to, in today's NBA, the center, yeah, it's great to be a scorer, but you have to be mobile enough. Like, Jokic is very agile, mobile. Mm-hmm. Uh, Embiid, agile, mobile. mobile. You're, you're a Nurkic. Nurkic, agile, mobile. mobile. Uh, AD, agile, mobile. You have to have. You have to be able to switch onto so why does, players. So why does Cousins get that? Why does Cousins get that? Like, you know, that little bit. Cousins is that, agile, too. Cousins is not that fast. For his size, yes, he For is. For his size? He's agile. Bro, he's doing, like, behind-the-back crossovers and shit. He's They're slow. Just, yeah, but for his size, no one else is doing that except all for right. maybe Jokic. All right, all right. That's why I think DeAndre, DeAndre Ayton, I wasn't high on him. But he's just not the athlete. He's a big, imposing force, brute force. Mm-hmm. But, like, he's not passing all the posts like that. He's not, like, you know, he's, like... And that team is really, that team is really garbage. He didn't really do nothing for that team. <laughs> you can't do much for that team. But, like, now this year they're going to get... My boy. Who's, who's your boy? Huh? Who's your boy? From Murray State. Um, Point guard. You think John Morant is going to go out and do something for the team? Uh, uh, that John Morant, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, uh, uh, Justin Jackson. You're telling me that's not a decent squad? Justin Jackson is terrible. <laughs> okay, uh, is it, that's your fourth Justin option. Justin Jackson though. That's your fourth option, though. Terrible. That's your fourth option. Why he starts, The I Suns need a point guard. And that's going to be him. I want to talk That's going to be John Moran. John Moran is not going to go there. 
What do you mean? It's gonna be, yeah, they're going to probably be the second pick. And John Morant's probably your second pick. They're not stupid enough to take John Morant. So if, who are they taking? R.J. Barrett? If six foot, if six foot four R.J. Barrett is available... They're I'm not t- taking Barrett when they already have Booker. Let's be real. Why? Because they play the same position. No, they don't. He plays point guard also. Who? Um, motherfucker. R.J. Barrett? Yeah. Relax. Relax. He's, he, he can handle the ball, but he's not a point guard. Okay. He's not a point. Oh. He's a two guard. He's going. Oh. RJ Barrett's going to Cleveland. Oh, oh. RJ Barrett's going to Cleveland to do nothing. To do nothing. Yeah, he's gonna go get paired with the the bull. And where's Zion gonna Call go? Where's Zion gonna go? Zion's number. He's going to MSG, fam. Oh my god. He's going number one. I don't think he's my num- I my number one is John Morant. I'm not. I'm not sold on Zion Williamson. Let's be honest. Why is oh. that? Why is that? Uh, bro, I just I he's he's a glorified um. Like, he's like one of those guys that run... He's like a great off-ball player. He's not a great on-ball player, in my opinion. He doesn't have the moves. Like, he was dominating college players that aren't that athletic and all that stuff. But I don't think in the NBA... Like, yeah, he's going to be one of the biggest guys. But, like, I don't think he's going to be able to do a lot of that stuff in the NBA. Like, just brute force. Like, there was no, like... There's no, like, you know, there's no handle to the... You know, like, I don't... Yeah, I agree. He's really, like, just big. It's like... It's just really big. Yeah, yeah. Like his dribbling is not that great. Yeah. It's his, not he's he's like he's like falling all over the place, but he's, he's just like grabbing it. He like, shoots like a rookie uh, uh yeah, Chris his, Thompson. She's shooting his back. Sorry. <laughs> his form is hideous. Yeah, it's not gonna I'm telling you, like that kind of stuff, I don't that's the, the stuff that kinda of throws me off. Mm-hmm. But New York being New York is gonna take him. It's it's too big time. That Lamar and and that's now. the thing. If he goes to New York, that might be a lot of pressure for him. You don't think New York is a lot of he's, pressure? He's playing in the biggest school in the world. Yeah, but let's be honest. NBA is a little bit bigger, especially MSG. I don't, I don't see um, games, NBA finals, yeah. shutting down all sports on television. When the NCAA finals happen... Okay, but that's because it's... I'm talking... NCAA finals happen... One game, knockout. I'm not listening. NCAA finals happen. Every game and every sport was gone. Yeah. I legit was... Shocked. Yeah, I get what you, I get what you mean, definitely. But mm. uh, I think playing in the garden, like the media, is a little more, especially with mm-hmm. what he brings to the table. Um. So yeah, that's just my opinion, though. Uh. Okay. So defensive player of the year, I have Rudy Gobert, runner up Paul George. Who do you have? Paul George, no questions asked. Yeah, Paul George winning it. What? Why wouldn't he? He's leading in steals. Yeah, but steals. Uh, James Harden is number two in steals. James Harden is? J- James Harden is averaging two steals a game. That so? doesn't mean he's a defensive player of the year. So? What does that go? That, is, that doesn't mean he plays defense. Rudy Gobert is the anchor for one of the best defenses in the league. He's Paul, the, part of the reason Paul why they're Paul George in- is play- If Think about this. If Paul George's defense was not on OKC, OKC would not be where they are. Well, let's, let's see this. Fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth. So he's anchoring a better team. He's Rudy Gobert only defends one, like yeah, but he's getting. Uh, this is strictly defense. This is defensive player of the year. It's not MVP. It's not thing. Defensive player of the year. Uh, thing has the blocks. He has the steals. He has the uh, points defensed at the rim. All that. Like it's. I. I don't think it's. A, I don't even think it's a discussion. Paul George has had a great stretch, but like realistically speaking, no, I don't think he's a defensive player of the year. I don't know. He's been. He's been playing defense on everybody. Team like players go in there and they're like getting stopped he's lengthy he plays great great perimeter defense Kevin Durant was torturing him torturing him Tom, but who can stop Kevin Durant <laughs> hey, Kevin I'm Durant just, I'm is, just saying bro I'm just Kevin saying. Durant is the most unstoppable player in the league don't get me wrong oh yeah yeah. he's 7 feet tall yeah, yeah, yeah. he dribbles like Allen Iverson no I understand shoots it like Larry Bird I understand that's an exception I understand like but wait. players like players like Giannis go in there and they're getting torched. They're getting like, they're struggling. They're shooting like, yeah. They're shooting like four for like twelve. Let's be honest. You could put a, oh, uh, you can put a pylon and Giannis is still struggle from shooting. Even inside, I'm talking about. Uh, I talk about field goal. In no, total. I'm saying, but like, Gobert, I think he's like top five in points, uh, in like field goal percentage at the rim. So he's stopping shots. He's stealing the ball. He's blocking the ball. He's anchoring a defense. Like at the end of the day, I, I, Rudy Gobert is definitely my my number my number one guy right there. I, Paul George is my second though. I'm not I'm not. It's nothing against Paul George. He's been doing well all season, but I feel like that team has a lot more defensive pieces in place, 
where like Westbrook at the at the point. You have Steven Adams from the back. He's anchoring that defense. Uh you still have all those athletes. You have fucking who else to have? Uh Terrence Ferguson, all those guys. Like they're athletes. They can all defend. Like there's no one on that team that can't defend. But not the way Paul George does. Yeah, no, I'm that's fine. I'm saying like if even if he doesn't defend at that level, it is not as much of a let off. But if Gobert doesn't defend at that level that he's used to defending, they're shit. They're not gonna be as great. That's why I say it's Gobert. And the numbers also too. So yeah, it's so what about Giannis? Would you put Giannis anywhere in that? Giannis is right. He, he's my honorable mention. He's been the having chase, a very great season. Chased out artist. Yeah, that guy. Oh my god, he just he, he's like almost like the best of both worlds. Like he's like the the Paul George on the perimeter, and then like the uh thing down low, and the way uh the way the Bucks have been playing, where they have Brook Lopez is standing out and all that stuff, guarding out low, out like more outer and like. Uh. Giannis like more down low like you can definitely make a case for Giannis too uh, I just had to give it to Gobert and Paul George before him I still think Paul George is going to win it yeah right now. you think so yeah. all right most improved player of the year I have uh, Spicy P Pascal Siakam and then my runner-up is D'Lo you nah uh, it's opposite D'Lo then Pascal really and then I got Jamal Murray yeah, I can see Jamal Murray too. But okay, let's let's talk about why you why you have D as your winner. D has taken a terrible team. Okay. I kid you not. Yeah. yeah. D has taken a team that's been at the bottom of the bottom. Okay. Has been stepped on, spat on. Like the Nets is like that girl that no one wants to be with. <laughs> it's 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 trash weather. Yeah, yeah. It's a shit team. Okay. And what they sent D there through his like through his like you know his like uh him snaking Nick Young. Yeah. <laughs> he goes there, he gets injured. Yeah. Gone all season. They go bottom last. Yeah. He comes back this season doing numbers. And they do numbers. With him, they do numbers. Yeah. When it comes to Pascal Siakam, when he was there, they were doing numbers. When he came when he came to play again, yeah. they were still doing the same numbers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, his, I get what his, you mean. His numbers personal like his personal own numbers great don't get me wrong from nine points to yeah. 18 19 yeah crazy yeah. from two rebounds to like the amount of rebounds he gets for his great per to get in the game winners from just being overall great player possibly he'll win it but if you overall look at it yeah deloading has taking something so trash yeah Showing that it's trash by not playing, yeah. then playing, yeah. and bringing them to the playoffs. Yeah. They haven't been to the playoffs since Darren Williams was there, KG was there, yeah. uh, Paul Pierce, Joe Johnson, like four All Stars. Yeah. That's the last time they've been in the playoffs. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. If this was an MVP award, okay, D'Lo is definitely the more valuable to their teams out of the two. But in terms of, it's a most improved player. So who improved the most from the year before and the. And that is, I think Pascal Siakam went up 10 in points, like, 6 in rebounds, 5 in assists. Like, um, he's, like, one of the uh, league leaders in transition points, one of the league leaders in uh, PER, over the plus minus, all of that. Like, he, they, what he's been able to do, like, the, the way he's been playing, they've, like, they, the Raptors can go into the postseason not having to rely on Cal Lowry as much. Okay, All right. Okay. There's not a diss to Kyle Lowry. Like he's like you know like he's been the captain for a long time. But let's be honest, uh, he's like you don't have like if when he's your second option on a team like before, you're not a championship team. Team. But right now he's like what fourth or fifth option on the starting lineup. Uh, well, kind of yeah. Yeah. So like, but he he let's, let's, he's more of a playmaker than a scorer. Yeah, he's a playmaker now, that, which is I exactly think, what you want him to do. I think yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think it's going well. Yeah. yeah. So. That's why I take Siakam. I think overall, in terms of numbers, and as a player, like before this season, I did not have any confidence in Pascal Siakam in being a great player. I knew D'Lo was going to be a really good player. Like, if maybe not an all-star, all-star, like fucking Kyrie, mm-hmm. but he was at least on that Kemba, uh, Kemba level. I, I knew he was going to be that. That's why I thought it was a mistake that Magic traded him. Uh... Pascal Siakam, I did not expect this at all. He came out of nowhere for me. I, I thought he was going to be like a Yakupurdo, uh, <laughs> a who, like a Mo Harkless, like a, <laughs> like one of those type of players, like a very hustle, like maybe like a, 
a Matras Harrell, a Harrell, like yeah, he, yeah. like you know one There's of those hustle players. Yeah, he he showed me a lot more improvement, and he showed me something that I did not expect from him. And that's mm-hmm. why he's my most improved player of the year. But he didn't even make the All Star game. This is where like. He didn't make the. He wasn't in, even in the conversation of it. Yeah, yeah. and everyone can be. No, like, no, he was in the conversation for it. No, not not. A not lot of pe- a lot of people that watched the Toronto Raptors were saying, okay, um, Siakam was our second All Star as opposed to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry was almost like a reputation pick, but let's be honest, that second All Star on that on the Toronto Raptors is Pascal Siakam. If wow. we're being if we're being honest, before Marcus All those guys came in. Don't get me wrong, he's done a lot. Like I remember, I watched Raptors game last season. Like he was butt cheeks. Yeah, he wasn't doing that much. There was man. no shooting. There was no passing. Bro, he's Very averaging 30, 36 from three and 41 from the corners. Percentage. Three points. Yeah. There we go. So he's he's booming now. He's like, in the gym. He, yeah, bro. This is not stuff you expected from Pascal Siakam. Let's Bitch, be honest. Bitch, he wasn't with me shooting in the gym? Yeah. <laughs> bro, he's, he's, he's lighting up the OVO center right now. Uh, the OVO practice center. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Drizaj. Oh, um, um, all right. So MVP, last on uh, one of the last awards. This is up for a great debate. James Harden having a historical season. I mean, thirty-six, eight and eight and seven or eight and six, whatever. Best numbers since Kobe. Uh, arguably better numbers than Kobe and Jordan in their best seasons. Uh, my my winner is James Harden. Runner up, Giannis. End of the day, Harden was carrying his team. To the last day of the of the of the regular season, he had them in place for second place. Uh, if the Nuggets didn't t- uh, tank a game, they would have been ended up in third. Like you know, the, the, he had them in the in the race for second place with all the injuries. Chris Paul missing a bunch of games, Capella missing a bunch of games. It was literally at one point just him, and PJ Tucker, and he was putting them on their back and and carrying them. One of the biggest historical months in terms of scoring, January. Uh, February, bro, he he has more 50-point games than the rest of the league combined. Uh, I think he has more than a lot of players in their in their in their entire career that and he had the season. So he's like he's put up absurd numbers, and on top of that, they're top four seed in the in the West, which I like, and they had a chance for second. So to be honest, I don't see how it can't. And and let's be honest, if he had those guys, those people playing. A little longer, like let's say they even played ten more games than they did, they might have been a first seed. You never know. It was literally the difference between them and the first seed was two games or one game. So he he held it down. He held down the fort for his team. Mm-hmm. He kept them up. He kept them there. They're they're one of the most impressive teams this year, in my opinion. He was the biggest storyline in the year. Um, he right, put him right, on their back. Right on Dwayne Wade, big storyline. I mean, I think his numbers were a little bigger than D Wade. Oh, uh, but yeah, that's that's why I, for me, uh, I had Harden winning it. Don't get me wrong. What I put here is, I'll take it back after hearing that. Like, yo, if, if James Harden never said, yo, I want to run for president, tell him to call you. <laughs> you legit are fear of the beard. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, but like thinking about it, like he dropped, I think it was three hundred, three hundred something points in like a month. Yeah. Crazy. He's averaging. He has the most threes. He has. He's averaging thirty-seven percent from three point, and he's shot the most threes in the season. But and then, like, but then again, he's not exactly doing what Giannis has been doing. Giannis is out here taking. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. B minus players, D minus players, washed up players. Like wait, I, wait. Brook Lopez washed okay. up. George Hill. Brook Lopez washed up. He, he's how many? Let's see how many threes he's hitting this season. Yeah, all the, all of a sudden he's hitting threes. Yeah, a lot. Because uh, Giannis gave him that that a mm. lot of no from Lakers. He was hitting threes too. Not much. Yeah, Not but much. he was getting better progressively. Okay, and now he just has a green light because of button holder. That's why he's envy. That's why George Hill somewhat washed up. M- Middleton was a nobody. Eric Bledsoe was was just was just um we I knew Eric Bledsoe as the backup for Chris Paul. Yeah, as Chris Paul's back pocket. Yeah, and then he went and to, also one of the best back po- backup and, point guards at the time. And then he went to the Suns. Yeah, and he was disappeared because they were trash. But now he's on a good team. Now he's on a good team. Yeah, I think it was I think it was last season where he got noticed where him and Scary Terry got into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he got cooked. He got, yeah, got, he got worked. Cooked. He got yeah, worked. Yeah, he got worked. And then it's just watching out, Giannis. Giannis in and out, night and day. Yeah, it's like 
he's just on hate to say it unstoppable yeah for especially his size yeah. how fast he is how he dribbles let me hit you with a couple stats Man, all right so their team their i think uh, their plus minus with him on the court is 10.7 mm-hmm. plus uh with him off the court is 10.5 so it's only a 0.2 drop off uh so they're not doing a thing um they also lead the league in games won by 10 plus points so this team is they're all their players are performing all very good they don't need Giannis as much as houston needed harden harden so you're telling me that Giannis is not as I, well i'm kind of agreeing with you not as valuable let's be honest a lot of these games bro Harden, I remember one game he scored like 60 points and they lost by two. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. If, if he didn't even score, if he scored like 30 or 40, mm-hmm. it would have been a blowout. A 20-point blowout. That's true. Like, there's so know. many games where this guy scores 50 points and they win by two, they win by three. Against Toronto, I think they won by three. And he had like what? Like 48? 50? 52, I think it was. On. 52. Like, he has to score these numbers to even keep him competitive. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas the Bucks. Like he doesn't have to have those numbers for them to have to to be good. Like they're all defending well, they're all shooting very well. Like this, the, everyone on that team is performing. Whereas this uh, on Houston, they weren't performing for a long stretch of the, of the season, and he had to put them on their back, score these numbers just to keep them in the game. That's if the NBA snubs this guy as MVP, yeah, I kid you not, make a video, yeah, and like let them know, no, bro, because this is this is this is ridiculous, and this is uh, we need to start a dialogue because James Harden right, should be winning his third MVP this season. Let's he be sh- honest, he should be third. He legit, arguably fourth, arguably. Okay, the 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 one against Steph that wasn't unanimous. It wasn't. No, no, Steph had the unanimous one. That's hundred percent his. The next one. That one should have been Harden. Harden had the lower seed. That's why he didn't get it. And the one against Russ. And the one against Westbrook. Wow. Triple double season. Yeah. No, that's a no no. Bro, what's okay? What Harden was averaging 31, 10, mm. and 8. What is two rebounds? Two get, rebounds is not the difference between MVP. Especially I get what you mean. When though. one team is the first seed and one team is the seventh seed. I, I, get, I get what you mean by he keeps getting snubbed. He gets snubbed. But like, he should like, have four MVP. I feel four. Like, I feel like right now, yeah. for the way you described it yeah. and what he's done, yeah. he describes what a valuable player is. Yeah. Because without him, they wouldn't be scoring 110 points a game. Yeah. He's they the wouldn't be scoring 120. Because yeah. anywhere between, let's say, 30 to 60% of those points yeah. are from him. Yeah. So that's a valuable player. Yeah. When Kobe won it, he was a valuable scoring player. Yeah. So then again, yo, we could be getting James Harden... What, is this third or second MVP? Second? This should be his... He won it last year for oh, the first last time. Year. So this will be like back-to-back back if he gets it. Yeah. I think he's going to get it. I She should get it, but a lot uh, of people are... I was about to say Giannis and Embiid. Like, yeah. I say Embiid because, yo, Embiid is very, very extremely yeah. valuable yeah. Yeah. to the team. Sixers. 100%. Because what Embiid does for the Sixers, yeah. I only see another player doing that, and yeah. that's Harden. Yeah. So those are important players. Yeah. And a valuable player is important. Yeah. He legit is the one that carries the load. Yeah. He is like the mother of the family. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, you, you actually could be right. And what James Harden is doing is impeccable. Whether it's 50 points, whether it's 60 points, that's half of the points they score in a night. Yeah. If it's 60 points and they score 80, people are forgetting that. James Harden went out and scored 60 of those points. Yeah. 80 is not a fucking small ass number. Yeah. He's, he's He was scoring like at one point, he was scoring like more than 50%. He's a, he was accounting for, I think, 75 of the percent of their points, See? including assists and points. So to me, it's almost a no brainer. But obviously, Giannis is having a great season. Uh, his team is winning games at the end of the day. So I, I can see why it goes to him. But like, in my opinion, it should be hard and hard. It should have four now. But that's another discussion for another day. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll go into our all NBA teams. All right, so NBA does all NBA team first, second, third, three different teams. So we'll start with our third team. Who do you have on your third team? My third team consists of Kemba Walker, cool, uh, Russell Westbrook, okay, Lamarcus Aldridge, okay, uh, Chris Middleton, okay, and Kawhi Leonard. Okay, that's your. That's my third team. Okay, so my third team is Kemba. Okay. Kyrie, LeBron, Blake, AD. I don't think LeBron or AD are getting it this year. 
Realistically, LeBron should not be. I okay to me. If LeBron gets it, because he's popular. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can. I, I can see that. Because, because okay. It, let's be honest, though. Okay. So, is he top five small forward this season? No. Who's top? Who's who? Do you have over him? I don't, a lot of guys are doing a lot better than him. Giannis is doing better. Paul George is doing better. Okay. Kawhi Leonard's doing better. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Who else doing better? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of... I don't know. There's not many small forwards. KD's doing better. Okay. There's like... Like, who else am I going to... There's like one more. There, yeah. There's uh, no for other... Me, he's the fifth. But there's no other big small forward that's out there doing great. Yeah. That's why I'm, That's why he's on my third team. Like, unless you want to come on and say, like, Jimmy Butler. No. 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 Or, like, Tobias. No. No. See what I mean? Like, it's... it's uh, he's at least a top five small forward. Or even, or even... It could even be Ben Simmons, too. No. No, not see? better than LeBron James. See, ya. <laughs> I'm, I, bro, I'm, I, I'll, t- I'll be the first one to tell you that LeBron has not been great, like this season at all. But he's definitely top five small forward. I have him on my third team. Him, Blake Griffin at, on my wings. Uh, AD down low. AD maybe should not be it. I could, I could go with Lamarcus Aldridge. Like you know, I wouldn't be upset. But I mean, at the end of the day, AD is AD. Like you know, like I, I can, I, uh, I would be comfortable putting him in that third team. For my third team, like like I think somebody that might get snuck into it is Nikola Vucevic. Okay, Nikola Vucevic. Yeah, is great. I like it. He they, they wouldn't be in seventh without him. Yeah, yeah. Know what I mean, so yeah, it's like yeah. about to get swept, but yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, oh uh, no, I think my my surprise in that third team was Blake Griffin and Kemba. Blake Griffin is having a resurgence this season. He's snapping from three pointer. I think he hit like nine threes that one game. Mm-hmm. He's been having a very great uh, season. Kemba doing Kemba things. Obviously, he's he didn't make the playoffs. Kemba. Uh, obviously, he didn't make the playoffs. I hope he goes somewhere else. To be honest, he said that. This, he said that yesterday. yesterday he's going morning? somewhere. Was it yesterday morning? What? I think it was yesterday morning or today. What? He said that he's contemplating on not returning to oh, Charlotte. So he's not. It's it's a done deal. So he's probably gonna go. Knowing the Knicks, they're gonna give him the max. <laughs> no, they're not stupid like that. James Dolan is stupid. That then the next team is stupid. They're they're idiots. After giving up Porzingis, yeah, yeah, they're idiots. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kemba, uh, Kyrie Irving's a little bit disappointing season for me. That's why I'm on my third team. He still had the numbers and all that stuff, but a little disappointing to me. LeBron disappointing season, obviously. AD disappointing season. That's my third team. Second team, I got Kyrie, uh, Blake Griffin, Lillard, Jokic, and KD. Okay, I have Westbrook, Lillard, oh God, Paul George, mm. Kawhi, Embiid. That's my that's my second team. This guy said <sighs> Embiid. Honestly, any other season he would probably be number one. The fact that they're third in the in the uh, in the thing, and I have I have Jokic in my first team. I think Jokic is having a special season, man. He's averaging what like seven assists at the center. Yeah, he is. Like twenty, ten, and seven. What like bro? That's cr- those are crazy numbers. He's probably gonna average a triple double at one point in the season in his career. Like he can get that assist. That'll be the first big man to ever do it, bro. Let's be honest. That's the third person to average a uh, a triple double. That will be the third person. Yeah, crazy. But he, like he's one of those candidates that you, you can see doing it. Jokic, uh, but yeah, Embiid, one of the best offensively, like in terms of scoring down the post. Obviously, we haven't had a full healthy Bo- Boogie Cousins, but. Next year we probably will. Kawhi, Kawhi could have been a first team, but he did not play enough games. He only played sixty of eighty-two. He missed. That's 22. why I have my third. That's why I have I have my second. I I think he's still better than LeBron. Like he outplayed LeBron. Okay. So he played more against LeBron. So I I'll give him over LeBron. Kawhi, Kawhi could have been on my first team, but he's not better than Giannis or KD. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Paul George. So second team. Lillard. You know he's doing Lillard things like he's carrying them to third. Third seed? Yeah, third seed, even though they're going to probably lose all that first round. They're going to like six games. I have them losing in five. Uh, Westbrook, triple double. So? So what? That doesn't he's matter. On my sec- he's on my second team. He takes like 80 shots a game. Yeah, he's not. He doesn't even, I'll be honest. Yeah. If I had the choice to take him out and put LeBron in, I'll end up doing that. But he's still on my second team. I'll put him on third or even on the, like nothing. Yeah. All right, my first team: Steph Curry, James Harden, Obviously. Giannis, Katie, Jokic. I think Katie's a like. I had to switch out KD. Yeah. Because I had KD in mind. Yeah. But I started mine off with Paul George, of course. Yeah. 
terrific season. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's playing with no playbook. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's out there doing what he does, and that's score and like just do what Paul George does. Mm-hmm. Obviously, James Harden, MVP. Yeah. Great player. Yeah. Doing like, you know what I mean? Like great players doing great things. Yeah. And then Stephen Curry, obviously. He was having a great... Like, on ball, off ball. Does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. See, like a great player. Yeah. And then Giannis, who's taking a terrible team like the Bucks. Yeah. To Not terrible, but like a decent team. Decent team. Yeah. And like, you know, he's putting up big numbers. Yeah. And like, this is where, I, this is where like, you know, people are going to be like, okay, that doesn't make sense. Um, Joel Embiid. I, like I said, I love watching Joel Embiid. I love it. The energy he brings. Yeah. Just like on the bench, off the bench. He, he is the... He is the poster boy of the Sixers. Yeah. And I feel like all the players that are named are poster boys, poster boys of their team. Yeah. So, when I talk about Embiid, Embiid scores, he defends, he passes, he does, he, like, he's our, he's our KG right now. For the kid that didn't, for yeah. the kid that didn't get to watch Kevin Garnett play, yeah. your, jo- your Joel Embiid right now is your Kevin Garnett. Yeah. I think the Sixers remind me of that Timberwolf team. Yeah. Just the minus that the point guard's like seven feet tall. Yeah. Other than that, I'm gonna keep those guys. Yeah. Those guys are terrific. You can't you really you can't go wrong. You can obviously mix around wherever. I had I Jokic. I I had to make a a point that Jokic was number one team over Embiid. I just I like how he carried his team more. He was more. I feel like he's more important to that team than thing is. Um, that team wasn't uh, the Nuggets weren't as expected to do well as compared to the Sixers, especially after their acquisition of of Tobias Harris. I just think Jokic, like, he's a focal point of the offense, and y- you could give Embiid this the nod because of the defensive end, because Jokic's not as great of a defense player. <coughs> but I think I think I think Jokic is number one in my opinion. So you wouldn't switch on KD for PG at any point? No. Why is that? Why would you? Because say- uh. Before, uh, remember in the beginning of the season when uh, Steph Curry and all those guys were injured and KD was uh, scoring like 35, 40 yes. a game just to keep them in the thing? Yes, yes. So that's why. Uh, Paul George had one good month, in my opinion. He had a, a great, a good season, but mm-hmm. he had a great one month. Like an MV, one MVP month. Whereas Kevin Durant had maybe two MVP months. That's why, like just because it was in the beginning of the season versus the middle or the end of the season... Like I, I like you know people tend to forget, but Ke- uh, Kevin Durant had a better season in my opinion. Nah, you don't think so? No, no there's no way. That's impossible. Paul George doing, is doing way too many good things for again a, a, a team. A, obviously, a worse team. That's that's obviously going to be the argument. But at the end of the day, um, bro, even if their numbers and stuff are comparable, Kevin Durant is a better player. Cause Kevin Durant's unstoppable. Yeah, he's a better player. He's been he's been better offensively. Like, like this season, Kevin Durant plays better. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Especially when you're counting the beginning of the season. Like if we didn't have short-term memory loss and we were thinking about the last <laughs> month, if we were thinking about the first two, three months of the season when they were not, they were still getting injured, and all uh, Draymond was yelling at them. KD was holding it down. KD was holding on the fort. That's when they lost like three for three, three, three for four. Oh, yeah, they were, bro. Everyone was like, "Yo, the Warriors are gonna suck." Like, is yo. that when they only had like uh, what's his name? That's when, had, that's when Clay was gone, Steph was gone. Everyone Clay, was gone. Steph was gone. It was just it was it was Boogie. No, Boogie was not gone. there. It was oh, yeah, literally yeah. Uh, KD, KD and Draymond, Draymond wow. holding on the fort with like the rest Quint of the guys. Cook, Quint um, Cook, and like Jarepko and like shit. Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell. Yeah, like the, he was holding on the fort. So I to me is a no brainer. Uh, KD's in my first team. Giannis obviously MVP candidate. No brainer. Harden, my MVP, so no brainer. Steph Curry was having a great season so far. Underrated season. He's averaging 28. He's shooting a lot of threes. And bro, people are barely talking about him. He's definitely like he's not he's not putting up the shots like Westbrook, but he's he's scoring. He's hitting a lot of threes. He's doing a lot of shit. And yeah, Jokic. That's that's my first team. Do you think uh, Lillard would have been an MVP candidate this season at all? No. Not even like fifth? No. Why? No. <laughs> Not even, we're not going to discuss it? I I wouldn't discuss them. I dude, I think there's like there's like three or four guys ahead of him. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. He might be fifth, but like realistically, like we're not talking about fifth place. Like I'm not talking about fifth place in MVP. For me, it comes down to top three, top two. And like I think the top two are so far ahead of the rest that it shouldn't really be a discussion. Paul George had a, a chance, but then after that soldier, 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 shoulder injury, it was. I think he. It was. It was out of reach for him. Mm. Okay. 
All right, so let's break down the playoff matchups. Yeah. All right, so we have everything all set in stone now. So Bucks versus Pistons, first round. Uh, obviously Bucks and six. You have Bucks and six. I have Bucks and five. Bucks and five. I think I think they're gonna have. I think it's gonna be a hard five though. I think it's gonna be like a very competitive. All the games are gonna be competitive, but it's gonna go five. I th- I wouldn't even be surprised if it's. I think the now. person that wins game one wins it all. You think so? Yeah. I think we're gonna have like a Washington against Toronto kind of season. Where, like, uh, one of those. I can see it. I can and then see someone it. like Stanley Johnson is gonna just come up and ksh, cut. I can game see it. No, over. the Pistons are out of those bottom seeds. They're like the scariest team. They have the most talent. Blake Griffin, mm-hmm. all of them. Uh, Reggie Jackson, you never know, can go bonkers. Like Drummond, like you have to account for their players. You never know, man. That's a that's a bad matchup for the Bucks. You never terrible, know. Terrible. I have matchup. I have Bucks in five. I would not be surprised if it went the other way. Um, to be honest, yeah, but I have Bucks and five. Um, so and you have Bucks and six. I have Bucks and six. Okay. Reason uh, to, reason to that is they're they have more um experience in the playoffs, especially especially the Bucks. Last, yeah, especially last season. Was the last season when they played Toronto? They lost. Yeah. So last season, last season was like an open. It was an open notice. Yeah. Because remember, the, the year before, they don't think they made it. They were out in the first round. First round. Yeah. So they made it far last season. Yeah. Second, uh, round. second round. Which is which is good. Oh. oh, it was Eastern Semis. No. First round. No, first round. You p- They're out first round. We played Miami first round. Last year? Did we? Or Indiana? Or Indiana? No, it wasn't Indiana. I think it was I think it was the Bucks. I think they were like a seventh seed or something. Okay. So it was like, an, like at the end of the day, it's an open... It was an open invite for them to improve. Yeah. I think they improved. Yeah. I think this is their chance to yeah. possibly make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. But when it comes down to like this right here, fourth and fifth, yeah. my guy, Wesley Matthews, Zabonis, Miles Turner, it's a group of underdogs yeah. hungry. It's like watching... Like a bunch of like hyenas, they're high. They're legit hyenas. Yeah, yeah they're looking. Team. They're looking for that championship. And uh, they have Tyreek Evans. Tyreek Evans off the bench. Yeah. Darren Collison, Drew Holiday's brother. Yeah. Um, Thaddeus Young. <laughs> they have a bunch of players. No, the team is solid. Um, I think this goes to Game Seven. Yeah. This is a Game Seven matchup. Yeah. It's like I think it's gonna be back to back. But then again, if Boston does sneak up under them as they usually do with um Gordon Hayward. Off the bench with 30, Scary Terry. Yeah. Just like players off the bench doing what they do. Yeah. Indiana has a problem. But if not, seven games, Pacers. Yeah. I have I have Celtics in six. I just think they're too talented. Like at the end of the day, when the playoff rotation is short up and they get more minutes, like like there, there's too much talent on the Celtics for them to not pull this out. And especially without Depot, I don't see I don't see the Pacers pulling it out. But they're gonna make it a fight, that's for sure. Uh Sixers Brooklyn. So, uh, six or sweep. You have a sweep. <laughs> six or sweep. I have Sixers and five. Why? Why? I give. I give them. Why one. you give? You, I feel like you give everybody one game. One game. One game. I one feel game. like. I feel like Brooklyn. If, if you just give everyone if, the benefit if, of the doubt, if, eh? if D'Lo and and Dinwiddie just have that one game, I think they have at least one game in them to win. <laughs> at least one game, and they're a deeper team, so like you know, uh, realistically, I wouldn't be surprised if it's four. But I give them five. Next one, Raptors Magic. Um, that's a sweep for me. This river's gonna, this river's gonna get cheesed. The Raptors are the most comfortable team. They think they can win it all. They're they're gonna go on TV and say no. You know we're not taking it too lightly. We know it's that. We know it's the Orlando Magic. We know they're terrible. No, Raptors are gonna go out, play like shit. No offense, Kyle Lowry's only been scoring like six, seven points every fucking game, yeah. night in, night out. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of it. All right, so, so and, make your pick. But it's going to be, I'd say six games, Toronto. You think six? Six. I think it's a clean sweep. I think this game's this one's a sweep. I think they're going to go in Orlando in a place that hasn't had a playoff in a long time. Yeah. Fucking, they're going to have a party in that fucking arena. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's, not, everyone's not going to be able to hear each other. They're yeah. going to be frustrated not scoring. Yeah. It's going to be maybe five or six. Five or six? Five or six. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go over to the West. Uh, Warriors, Clippers. Sweep. Sweep boss? I think it's a sweep. Is that sweep boss? I think it's a clean sweep. It's a sweep. 
Oh, I don't know what the fuck is a broom. There's no <laughs> broom in there. over there. You should have the That's broom. A clean sweep. Sweep us? Yeah, yeah clean All sweep. Right. All, All right. right. This is where uh, the two seed Nuggets versus the seven seed Spurs. I have the Spurs in seven. What? I have the Spurs over the Nuggets in seven. I don't think the Nuggets have the playoff experience. I don't think they have the vet. Like, they have literally one guy, okay. one veteran, right. okay. Paul Millsap, and he mm. kind of got beat by a 60 win. Atlanta Hawks So I don't really trust Against them. LeBron James And uh, Curry and Yeah him, that's, that's fine They're and a lot better Than Jeff Teague And Kyle Korver If you know that No but then I think I think Playoff LaMarcus We all know Playoff LaMarcus is I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck About Playoff LaMarcus Who's guarding, who's guarding LaMarcus in the My guy Dog who? Jokic Jokic is not guarding Okay listen Jokic is gonna come out Triple double playoff I don't Watch think that First game Triple double Okay, I don't. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But Gary I don't think you remember. Uh-huh. Remember when, uh, when L. A. was given uh Dwight Howard that ah, 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 that fadeaway that fadeaway mid range, bro. The the two mid range assassins are gonna get it done. I I I'm calling it right now. Spurs in seven. Uh, they have Bert- uh Bertans shooting the lights out. They have uh what's his name uh White, uh, Derek White, not Derek White. It's Derek White. Is it Derek or is it Kevin White? Derek I don't know, man. Patty Mills, like they're still like a very solid team, best coach in the league. I have the Spurs in seven. Nuggets in six. Why? I have been a big fan of the Nuggets yeah. since they had Igudala. Okay. That's when they were like not too long ago. Proper. That was twenty thirteen. Yeah, that's not too long ago. That's six years ago. I was ago. fucking with the one they had Allen Iverson, let's be real. Proper. That team was actually that team was so shit. Relax. That team lost in the first round of the Spurs. To the Spurs, to of the course, sp- like a Bruce Bowen Spurs. No, but they went to the Western Conference once, uh, finals once. And that's when they had without Wild Iris. It was Billups and oh yeah, Bill Birdman Ups, and JR, Martin yeah. and Nene and Jr. and Carmelo. Melo, that was, <sighs> that was lights out. They, I think they had Iverson then too. No, Iverson didn't come off the bench. No, nope, no Iverson. They had um, uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? What's that guy that gets crossover? Andre Miller. <laughs> That's who they have. Oh, the slowest guy ever to play in the NBA. I think him and Calderon are the worst point guards to ever play in the NBA. Not nah, Calderon was solid. He had like one miss the entire season in the free throws. He was solid. He was a solid ten and ten guy. No one gets crossed more yeah. than Calderon. That's f- that's. I remember fine. one time I watched them. Uh, I think that's it was. Fun. I think when you played for the Raptors, I watched something called like top like top ten crossover yeah, yeah, of the yeah. year. It was like on every single. And one. like three of them was like Nate Robinson breaking Calderon's ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. Um. So you have, you have Spurs. You have Nuggets in six. I have Spurs in seven. Okay, cool. Uh Thunder Blazers. I have Thunder in five. Hell yeah, Thunder in five. Fuck it. Yeah, I think they're gonna get swept. I thought they were gonna get swept too. Cause, bro, I don't know. Like the the Blazers, I don't really trust them, especially after last year. What happened? How much bad they lose last year? Remember they got swept by or New Orleans? Oh yeah, they did. Drew Holiday and then clamped them up. Um, I think Paul George is going to take over this, this series. Westbrook is going to be in fucking Damian Lillard's ass. Like, he's going to be on him, and McCollum is going to be a non factor. You're right. Uh, you're right. You're right for that one. Stop. And there's no Nurkic as well. So, like, the, the paint is going to be dominated by Steven Adams. I don't see the Blazers winning this. Maybe if they had Nurkic, they would have the, the depth and all that stuff. Cantor might be able to come in and, you know, uh, help, the, help the blow, but I don't think so. I'm taking uh, Thunder and five. Wow. Yeah. Well, be, I have two upsets. I think there. they try to they try their best every season. Yeah. And I feel like the defensive the defensive approach that came with the uh, with the Pelicans last year yeah. was a lot better than what comes with OKC. Yeah. So I think it's really gonna be an offensive battle. Yeah. Will it be a sweep? Yeah. Um. You have a sweep. I have a sweep. I have Paul George shooting lights out. I have, I have, I have my boy PG coming out like the way PG when they went to like game six or seven against Miami. I think PG's gonna come out and PG's gonna do what PG does. PG goes out, he scores, he defends. I think they're all gonna get shut down one by one because there's no other player that can score that team other than McCullum and Lillard. Yeah. And if McCullum and Lillard are under ten points, what the fuck is everyone else gonna yeah, do? Yeah. I, I just don't think. I think it's too lopsided. So I think Thunder. Thunder and five, you have you have them four. I I would be okay with four too, to be honest. I think that could happen as well. Uh, Rockets and Jazz, I have Rockets and six. Hell yeah, 
Yeah. Oh yeah. With MVP. Yeah. yeah. If James Harden comes out and does, yo. Yeah. If James Harden comes out and does fifty every night. Yeah. Mod. I will lose my shit. Mod. Mod. I will lose my. You. I will legit run outside my house naked. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Trust me. <laughs> but like, uh, the Jazz are a good team. They're gonna have to rely on Donovan Mitchell. I think. I think. Uh. Harden's just gonna outplay Donovan Mitchell. End end of story. Chris Paul's gonna come in and outplay what Rubio. But like, what Capella. if they come? What if they come out and like defensively completely shut them down? Oh, like, like this that's is my possibility. That's my that's my that's, that's my predicament when it comes. I don't down. think they'll shut them down. I think the Rockets would be cold from three. Which is their weapon? <laughs> yeah. Which if is cold the- from three? Then it's then bro, they're not gonna really do well. At that's all. their number one weapon though. Yeah, but I don't I don't expect them to be cold from three. They they, they I think they they won like. Eight of the past nine going into the playoffs, mm-hmm. so they've been play- They've been on a tear. Like oh. they, they've been well. So I have them, and they would have been second seed if they didn't lose to uh, OKC on the buzzer beater. So I have the Rockets winning in six, but I wouldn't be surprised if if went seven. I would not be surprised at all. I'm not be surprised. All right, so but it's not a. I'm gonna be honest. It's not really big of a matchup team because like if Harden if Harden goes down, there's players on Houston that can score. Yeah, but they, if Donovan have, Mitchell goes down, they're they're butt crack cheeks. Because yeah, yeah. wh- what's his name, Reggie or what's that, what's that Brian or what that guy's name is that O'Neal guy? He's not gonna come on and score. Yeah, no, they, they not gonna they're, score. Their scoring is very they're very shallow. Joe Ingles isn't gonna score. Who? Joe Ingles. Yeah, like I don't. Oh well, yeah, I don't. I don't really see them putting up. Uh, I mean, they'll put up a fight defensively, but offensively, they don't there's, have firepower. There's, there's, they're, 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 they're way too defensive depth to have an offense. Yeah. I feel like until they have an offense, they're going to be stuck being that middle seed. That, that middle seed or yeah. stuck in the first round. Because I remember when the Jazz first came out, yeah. they were all around depth. Yeah. It was offense with like a me- with um, middle core, Dan Williams, right away, yeah. booming. Kyle Korver, booming. Mm-hmm. The defense started off with Karolinko and Boozer, yeah. which were amazing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like and they need to have more until offensive they weapons. get that t- the team that's equivalent to that they're gonna struggle. Yeah. yeah. All right. So who do you have the two teams coming on Eastern Conference Finals? To the Eastern Conference Finals? Yeah. Who do you have the Eastern Conference Finals? Uh, my hometown. No questions asked. That's just bias. Toronto and who? Bias. So in a, in a bias level, I would say Toronto. And yo, if <laughs> Indiana. Why yeah. do I say Indiana? Oh my lord. Why do I say Indiana? Yeah. They could probably pull it upset. You think so? I. You think they can pull two upsets? Two. If these two go into there, it's gonna be off the fucking shit. Yeah. It's gonna be one of just the best things to watch. Mm. You know what I mean? So, I have uh, Toronto and Boston in the fi- in the Eastern Conference Final. Why Boston? I think Boston's too talented. I think they're just gonna step it up another level. Kyrie is gonna be Kyrie. So like, you think that like Kyrie is like a LeBron switch? Oh hell yeah! If all of you don't know, a LeBron switch, the oh. definition I'll have it somewhere. It's a switch in where LeBron can go in the first quarter, second quarter with six points. I remember he came to Toronto one time and he had like a le- no, I think he had like I think it was six or eight points yeah. going into halftime, and he ended up with forty. Yeah, no, Kyrie definitely has a switch. He can turn that shit on any single time, and Darren Collinson won't be able to guard him. Uh, Eric Bledsoe won't be able to guard him. Um, they have way too many players. I think they're they're way too deep, man. That team has way too many good players for you to double team Kyrie. And if you double, if you're if you're throwing all your weapons at, at Kyrie, then Tatum's gonna hit a couple threes, and Jalen Brown's gonna hit a couple threes. Gordon Hayward. But that's gonna, but that's what happens when you come down to Indiana, right? Because Indiana, Indiana also has depth. Yeah, but they Indiana, don't have the depth. They don't have the depth that, that the Boston offensive has. depth, the offensive depth, or the, the deep overall depth. Overall depth. Well, obviously, because no one, no, there's no one else in the league that has the overall depth of the Boston. Yeah. What that? What what what? Danny Ainge has brought to the table. Yeah. Like Danny Ainge has brought a turducken to the table. Yeah. <laughs> like to yeah. the Chris, and there's I don't know what else they need. There's a possibility they might win the they might make it to the finals. Yeah. If they beat Toronto. Yeah. But, and all honesty. I think Indiana has a chance of coming out yeah. and just surprising everybody. Yeah, because players like Bogdanovich, I can see it, who's a great mid-range player, great Bo- outside Bo- player. Bo- he was one of my sixth man of the year. Ah, oh, Boban. Yeah, he was. He but was he doesn't even pay six man. Boban starts. Oh, he starts. Bogo. Oh, because uh, Boban because, because Deep was injured. No, no, they start him. So they start. They brought Wesley Matthews. Yeah. to play now, so he starts. Oh, uh, Bogle is a small four. Bogle always started. 
Oh, so Bogdan, okay, it was cool. um. I remember last year they were he was off the bench or something. Bogdan was started last year, then they brought him off the bench in the playoffs. Yeah. Oh yeah, they brought him off the bench. In the playoffs. That one. Yeah. That one terrible. So you have Pacers and Toronto in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's fine. I have Toronto and Boston in the Eastern Conference Finals. Okay. Uh, Western Conference Finals. Who do you have? Uh I'm so sad we have Houston and Thing playing in the beginning, the second round. Wow. Houston and Warriors is is my Eastern Conference Final, but since they can't be in the Eastern Conference Final. I personally have Warriors OKC. I'll tell you the truth, man. This is the most fun I've had. I think this is. I think this is gonna be the most fun playoffs in a long time because of the section right here. Yeah, like a lot of people. Not That's gonna, gonna be a dog fight. A lot of people are not gonna like not gonna realize that, that that is the four most underrated teams in the West. Yeah, and they're gonna going against each they're other. They're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. It they're up. going to. They're gonna get. They're gonna fight it. That Eastern Conference semi is gonna be lit. So whether I have I have OKC beating. The Blazers and I have the Spurs beating the Nuggets. So then I have Spurs versus OKC and I have OKC beating them. So I have OKC and the Warriors in the Eastern Conference. Wow, Finals, Western Conference Finals. Wow, yeah. really? I have the six seed. I have the six seed OKC going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Just because of the thing, I think the Eastern Conference Finals is between uh, uh, Warriors and Rockets. So I gotta give it to my Nuggets. You gonna, wow. you gonna Nuggets? I'll give it to Nuggets. Why I say Nuggets? Uh, they just been killing everybody all season. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's like, regular season. It's again, it's re- again. We always say it's regular season, regular season, but the players could be different. But that's only some. Hmm. So LA can come out and drop thirty, but Patty Mills will play like shit. Yeah. Or Jokic can go out and have a triple double. Yeah. But someone else will have a terrible game. Yeah. But I think when it comes to uh, Spurs, they. Sc- they have a more chance yeah. of having players score less yeah. points than Denver has their players scoring less points. Cool. I feel okay. like Denver's. I think Denver's overall offensive depth yeah. is so consistent yeah. that that's where they are. That's why they deserve to be in second. If they have it, if they weren't so consistent, yeah. they wouldn't have been where they are. Because they have they have Isaiah Thomas getting replaced for Morris and they have Gary Harris who was injured and came back he was replaced mm-hmm. Malik Beasley who's completely taking a new position coming off the bench and he's shooting lights out mm-hmm. so it's like depth 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 there's offense there there's I just don't there, trust them offense. in terms of uh, the te- like they've never been tested like that team has not been tested no one on the team has experienced even Jokic has never been to the playoffs I guess you have to wait and see we we'll have to wait and see. That's why I have OKC because Paul George has been there, Westbrook's been there, Schroeder's been there, uh, Stephen Adams has been there. Like, you can go down the line. They have the they have the leadership. They have the, the people that have been there. That's why I have them going to Eastern Conference Finals. Especially if Paul George is on his game, I don't see the Blazers stopping him. I don't see the uh, uh, Nuggets stopping him. I don't see the uh, Spurs stopping him. So yeah, my Western Conference Finals is Warriors and OKC. But realistically, the the winner out of that Rockets uh, Warriors series is gonna be is gonna be the, the one Rockets. to watch. It's gonna be the, gonna be, you think gonna be Rockets, the Rockets gonna win? That's gonna be the Rockets. I think yo, if the Rockets go into that healthy, I think if if they win that series, then they're gonna go to the finals. They're gonna win if, it all. If if James Harden busts out the James Harden, yeah. But, but yeah, because the Rockets have been the the Golden State killers. But I mean. Let's be honest. Golden State's the best team in the league by a mile. So it no. depends on how they're going into that season. Not really series. by the mile, because if you really look at it, since Toronto got Marcus on Jamie Lynn, they're the second best team in the league. Yeah, a lot of people haven't realized that. Yeah, but they have competed. Yeah, with Warriors, I would say. Yeah, because if the Warriors take like say the Warriors take pieces out. Yeah, because basically the way the Warriors play is they start no matter what all five of those guys. Mm. Clay, Steph, KD, Draymond, Cousins. That's their five. And then in between that, they all get switched out in between. Yeah. With Toronto, there's players like Van Vliet. When Quinn Cook comes in, quickly switch it up. Yeah. yeah. When yeah, their, their depth is way better. When Kevin them. Looney comes in, it's like, you know, he can stay. Yeah. Ibaka comes in. Uh, Ananobi comes in, gets yeah. this person. There's like... There's so much pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. on Toronto that match up with Golden State. Yeah. Is why I'm getting to the point. Is like, is Toronto the team that's gonna get that fucking trophy? Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Cause okay, so, <laughs> um, so now finals. Who who do we have in the finals? I have the Warriors and Toronto in the finals. I have the well, same thing. Warriors in Toronto. So I've, I've been from my just from my overall study of yeah. what I've been reading and yeah. looking at numbers. And just Masai Yerji's 
great, he's great, genius. great genius, 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 genius. Took took a a weird a weird German out of where did he come from? Hornets. Who? The German then or free agency? Oh, he, he was on Brooklyn, no? Huh? I have no idea where he was. He was on Brooklyn. No, he was on Hornets. He was on Hornets? I don't remember. <laughs> I think he was on Brooklyn. No one even knows. He won't even know where the fuck yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah. Took him. He got bought out. Took him. Yeah. Bought out. Brought. We need him. Um, We needed we needed a big man. Remember we always talk about we need a big man? Yeah. We got a big man. We need a big man that can shoot. We yeah. Big man that can shoot. We need a big man to play defense. Yeah. We need to play defense. We needed playoff... Um, experience we got, we got the best defender of big men, other than Gobert. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's one of the. He's gonna. Marcus he's gonna so, put a clamp on on Boogie Cousins. Because Marcus saw went out in two thousand and eight. Yeah. Was it two thousand eight? Yeah. And they beat the Spurs. Or yeah, they beat the Spurs. They beat OKC. They, they beat. They just went. Yeah, yeah. And they went Marcus after saw and his, that the so that's, grind Grizzlies were. Crazy. That's that. That's that good grind experience. Yeah. Ibaka's out there, great grind experience. Yeah, I the, just the biggest thing for me is that they have one, they have a top three defender at center. Mm-hmm. They have the best defender on the wing, uh, best two, Danny Green and Kawhi are probably the best wing tandem uh, in guarding. Uh, their power forward Roto in uh, in defense is probably one of the best with Siakam and Ibaka. Mm-hmm. Their point guard Lowry is one of the best. Defenders at that position, mm-hmm. and especially if he doesn't have to score as much, he can just defend, draw, draw, draw oh. charges, and uh, and, and oh, play yeah. make. He's gonna Hell like yeah. that team. They have the like top five defensive players at every single spot, and mm-hmm. their bench like they can all score. Their bench is deep. Like uh, I have the Raptors winning in six. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even have a prediction for this. I'm legit going into this. Yeah. Like, regardless, I want to be there, but I think it's going to be way too just, expensive. Uh, you want what? For the, t- the tickets? Yeah. It's going to be you way wanna, too expensive. Yo, it's going to be like. You know what I think we should do? What? I think we should break down some bricks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking playing. No, oh, no, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll be there. We'll, we'll, we'll live broadcast. Uh, uh, but what's it called? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, vlog, I'll vlog the game for you guys. Yeah, we'll vlog it. Uh, but yeah, I have the Raptors. Six six is kind of, you know, being generous. I think it's going to be seven. I don't want it to go seven, but I think seven would be great because I want to go to game seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I think the Raptors win it all this year. I have no prediction for this one. I think I have no. K- I think Katie's too distracted to go to New York. Um, I think uh, – I think – I just think there's too much tension. I think Boogie – I've come to the conclusion Steph's ankles are made out of toothpicks. Yeah. Like he just rolled it. For yeah, he hurt again for the third time this season. Yeah, so and like, he's I, not like, and he's not lightly rolling it. Like he's rolling. It. Yeah, yeah, like he's. I think he's going too fast. He's getting to the point where his like, his body's moving forward. Like what happened to you? And his le- his ankle is just rolling behind. Yeah, him. yeah trust me. It's trust getting me. left in the dust. Yeah, it's mud. So it's like, um, yeah, I don't. I I think they're they just don't have the depth. Like. I think they're what they're six deep. But after that, like let's be honest, like in the playoffs, I don't really expect much more from their top six. And Toronto's more healthy. Toronto's more healthy. If Toronto gets through these couple rounds healthy, I think they're gonna win it all. Yeah, I'll put no fuckery happens. A lot of fuckery that usually happens in Toronto. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Toronto always gets into some fuckery. Like OG mm-hmm. and and Nubi's out with appendicitis. Yeah, he got his appendix removed. Oh, I'd be fine. He'd be out for maybe a series. Less. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But like, oh, uh, you know, That's there's a lot of, of lot, a lot of factors, obviously. But I have the Raptors winning it all. Raptors winning it all. Yeah, like for the hometown. Yeah, would realistically, you get, would you get the championship tatted on your ass if they win? Toronto's? Yeah, would you? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Would you? Hell no. I'm I'm going to the parade though. I have the shorts ready. We have the shorts ready. <laughs> Mine's came in. It's not out. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like LeBron. I'm gonna have the. Oh, uh, the. LeBron the, wore this yesterday. Yeah, he. Guess what I have? I got the same ones like LeBron. Which one? The Laker ones. Yeah, yeah. I have those. Oh, ones. you got the Lakers too. Mm-hmm. I was gonna get the Bulls one and the other ones too, but then I was like, yo, fuck it. I was gonna get the Boston one too, but I have the Raptors one. So yeah, the the the, the parade is gonna be mod uh, for sure. Nathan yeah, Phillips is going to be a lit with champagne. Yeah. If these guys don't throw Hennessy at us and liquor at us, yeah. I promise you I'll get cheese. Yeah. Like, if, if they don't get what... The, if, they, if Toronto doesn't do what Golden State does, yeah. like, you have, like, Le'Veon... What's his name? 
shit ass guys Jordan like Jordan Bell. Bell like yo give me the Hennessy yeah, yeah, yeah no I think shit. I think Toronto's gonna be super much like we in Toronto yeah and if like we don't have Drake on a float if we don't oh, have oh no it's gonna be mod I'm telling it, you if Toronto wins it's gonna be my mod. guy if there's not an owl flying in the fucking sky yeah if I don't see that Toronto Raptor guy yeah. wearing all white yeah and di- drip down in some like championship gold yeah wrong with Toronto. Nah, Toronto it's gonna be mod when they win if they win like Toronto would be the cra- better, I think the crazy they better close out school like, I, I'm like not they were, going to work fuck was that it, was, it, was it the Winter Olympics where they, what, when was it where they cancelled school the Blue Jays game yeah where they get they gave everyone a doctor's note remember oh, that oh yeah, yeah I seen that it yeah, was yeah. like yeah. It was no, like, Toronto would be mod realistically I think <laughs> the Warriors would probably win but I have I have hope that Raptors like I think match up defensively all that stuff. I think they. I think they pull it out in seven. I think if Toronto does make it to the finals, it's gonna be like a Coach Carter story. I kid you not. You think so? It's gonna. It's gonna, it's gonna end up like a Coach Carter. They're like, losing. Yeah, and everyone just like cries, and then everyone just like drops to the floor and just like. Fuck. Yeah, and it's a bit. Oh, do you think Kawhi stays <laughs> if they go that far? Kawhi's gonna stay regardless. I think he's staying. I think Drake hasn't dripped down in that in that OVO goose. He's not leaving. Man. I think yeah, I think Kawhi's staying. He's bro. not that, leaving. You, my watched, guy. you watched the video with him and uh, Baka, where he says he, where he t- um, Baka says he can't talk. He's cooking African peanuts. Yeah, like, oh, cow peanuts or some shit. Uh, bull peanuts. Yeah, bull peanuts, <laughs> but, uh, beef peanuts or whatever, something like that. But yeah, no, I think he's staying. Man. I think he's staying. Um, yeah, that's all our topics. Uh, you want to wrap us up? Want wrap us up? What? Oh, you can do it. You, you want me to wrap? You do that. You do that whole like. Bang, boom, boom, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. So, thank you for listening to our NBA podcast. We're going to do one in between every series. Hopefully, if you guys liked it, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know. Catch us on roads. Um, Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Follow on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, all of them. You know, just help us get paid, you know. Uh, we're, just not, we're just tired of working jobs, right? Big guy, you tired of working job? I'm unemployed. <laughs> I'm tired of working. You're tired of being unemployed. We're just trying to make some money on here. I'm just trying to have my lo- my the loans I have to give Doug Ford soon eventually get paid off. And and if you guys all uh, help us get paid, we'll go to game seven of the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, if you we'll do a GoFundMe, and if you guys let us go, yeah. I will take my shirt off yeah. and run on the court. Yeah. yeah. Deal. I will take my shirt off. <laughs> yes, I'm old. I'll take my shirt off. MLSC just banned you from the arena right now, live. Really? Live. You just got banned. Live. They don't even know who I am. No, but like, they just have it in their database now. Like, this guy's gonna run on the court. So, do I get like my refund? No, you didn't buy a ticket. What happens if I buy a ticket? They just won't let you buy a ticket. How? They don't ask for ID. They're gonna scan it, fam. This technology, fam. I'll make my girl, <laughs> I'll make my girl buy it. So what? <laughs> Alright, guys. Peace out. Take care. One love.